Cabus Maximus here. Just making a little video about the snap-on sheet metal ratcheting box wrenches. Double-ended. You know, I don't need to have a huge array of these. <laughs> I know it's a video just about two of them. But I don't need 50 of them to really uh, do a review. I had got some Craftsman ones. Didn't think they were great. And actually didn't realize that Snap-on had made these. So Snap-on's not uh, afraid to make cheap tools as well as very expensive tools. These are pretty expensive for sheet metal box wrenches, ratcheting box wrenches, but I'll have to admit they're pretty nice. One other thing is I'm able to compare both a uh, older one with the, I guess, <laughs> old school font with one of the newer ones. Found these at Habitat for Humanity. You never know what shows up with one of those. Surprisingly enough, pretty useful sizes. Quarter inch 5 sixteenths and then a 7 and 8 millimeter. 8 millimeters, just a little bit bigger than 5 sixteenths. And, surprisingly enough, they had these patented at some point. One thing I can tell you versus the Craftsman is obviously these are quad riveted. One. Two, we can see that the insert is all steel. So, uh, in this case, the snap-on, even on a sheet metal box wrench, is better than the other ones. I mean, the Craftsman's had plastic in them and it was shredding away. Interesting, this, they have just a little uh, spring-loaded pin, and then that's the pawl, and then that's how all the ratcheting mechanism works. Real simple. The reason they even make these, besides the cost, is that when you eliminate the outer buckle, you actually get a pretty small or a pretty high-access tool. For instance, if we take this old uh, Husky box wrench and we compare it to the 8mm on the snap-on, we can see that the snap-on is only a little bit bigger and it's ratcheting, so I can see the merit of that. And the fact, once again, that they're all metal with quad rivets, they are pretty made pretty darn well. If we take a closer look, we can see just a little bit of wear, but really it's only right on the very edge. The fluting is still pretty good on these, so uh, that's something else to say. You know, if we check fitment on, say, a regular fastener, it's actually pretty darn tight. It's not bad at all. Now we have some Allen sockets, which are real pretty precise. And really, it's, they're pretty tight. I'm actually pretty surprised. And we have an 8mm here. And I should grab the 8mm. Pretty tight here as well. So, overall, to tell you the truth, I think these little wrenches actually aren't so bad. Probably the... And one thing I read, just doing a little bit of online research, is the big issue Achilles heels is that there is just a thin band of metal on each side. They tend to hold up pretty well, given that these types of wrenches tend to be on the shorter side. But if you start hammering them or put a cheater bar on them, you, where they fail is not actually the pawl, but it's just these two loops will snap and expand and allow the anvil to spread away and start slipping. Other than that, I'll have to say that, uh, you know, I don't own many snap-on tools, but these are definitely pretty cool. Not the sheet metal rationing box wrenches are super cool. I mean, the biggest issue is they get cruddy pretty easily. And once you get a bunch of gunk built up into these teeth, then it will be more likely to slip. But it is neat to see some snap-on ones and what some of these sheet metal wrenches look like uh, when they're really made by a premium manufacturer. And I have to say, these are definitely pretty decent. And do appear to uh, have drive ends that hold up uh, pretty well to wear, so... Kind of surprised, and just wanted to share my take on these little wrap, uh, or excuse me, craftsman snap on route sheet metal ratcheting box wrenches. If you can find a set that uh, you know at a pawn shop or used or something uh, that's a pretty reasonable price, you may want to actually give them a look because these are going to be some of the better, or if not some of the best, of this style of wrench out there. Who knew that snap on had been has does make them and has been making them for quite some time. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.